For those studying engineering at Cambridge, there are many laboratory sessions which form part of the course. There is also an area where students can come and apply the knowledge they have gained in lectures and experiment in directions of their own choosing. This area is called the Dyson Centre. The Dyson Centre is home to many student groups, teams and individual projects, much of which students undertake in their own time, and some of which are part of the engineering course. Some teams enter into competitions, some break records, some investigate new technologies, and some help people improve their lot in life. We have lots of 3D printers, laser cutters, plasma cutters. We have our own projects which we love and also we're here as a resource for other societies to use because we have a lot of expertise within 3D printing. We were commissioned by the department itself to create some Christmas decorations for the foyer. If you look at them from any other angle you can't really tell that they're snowflakes but if you stand directly underneath them it is. I'm running a coursework module for second year undergraduates, so they have to work in groups of six to develop a robot to solve a specific task. It's great fun because we get to experience all the stages from the very design process to control to software. We're shown how to use some of these big machines and what it means is that I can actually come here anytime and use the 3D printers, the laser cutters. The course in its nature is quite theoretical, but engineering in the real world is very practical, so this is essential for us, basically. What we've designed here is a really simple, low-cost technology that automatically puts chlorine into the water. It's quite clever because it puts the right amount of chlorine into the water depending on the amount of water you have. We are the Formula student team for the University of Cambridge. We compete every year at Silverstone and in the past we've competed in Germany and in Spain as well. It's a combination of designing parts um, then going down to the workshops, spaces like the Dyson Centre, getting really hands-on and making them. So we're a student society that builds solar-powered cars and every two years in Australia there is a competition called the World Solar Challenge it's a race from the north of Australia to the south and it's uh, 3,000 kilometres in just six days. We've been building this marble run for the past year. The point of it is to put the most fun mechanical parts into it and it will go into the Heath Robinson Museum in London at the end of this term. We kind of work on things that go really fast and really high. So we travel out to the American desert every two years to try and see how high we can get with a rocket. So this is Pulsar. This is the largest British amateur rocket engine ever built. Students have the opportunity to spend an hour on the Miller machine and on the lathe as well. This basically gives them an idea of like how real life manufacturing is done. I think it's very important to do engineering outside of your course and it's nice to be able to get out there and do something practical. This society for me brings art and engineering together in a way that I love. It's nice to see other people working on different engineering projects and different aspects. This is a, a, an amazing facility uh, that I'd really encourage anyone to, uh, to come along and have a look around and have a uh, use for whatever projects that they might, might want to do.